maximum power transfer theorem. So how to execute maximum power transfer theorem by using piece by tool. So we have to discuss here. So I'm taking one simple circuit. It's having uh, one, uh, two, three uh, resistors and one voltage source. So for this first I'm selecting VDC from the piece space library. So place here VDC, DC source. Okay. And uh, resistors are, so three resistors, I'm selecting three resistors uh, like this. And uh, three resistors are connected in simple fashion. So select this uh, uh, resistor and uh, press Control R in keyboard, and then it will be rotates like this. Okay, so then connect here this positive terminal of voltage source to this resistor, and this resistor the second terminal like this, okay, by using wire. Okay, and uh, this in this way, I'm connecting one simple circuit. Okay. This circuit, I'm considering this is as a load. Okay. This is a load. The value of load is called, for example, uh, low resistance, uh, some other value. But uh, first, here, this is uh, value is called RL. So enter this value like this by taking braces R and by using braces, okay, enter this value of RL like this, okay. Save, change the display, both name and value and length like this, close. The value is equal to RL, so like this, uh, Enter by pressing the two times of this element and then the value is equal to RL. Okay, so enter here uh, by taking the braces. Then only this element is used. Maximum. This is called variable resistor. Okay, so this I'm uh, choosing as a this is a variable resistor. And uh, for example, this resistance is value is called, for example, 40 ohms. This resistance. Value is called, uh, for example, 60 ohms. 40 ohms and 60 ohms, and this is called variable resistance, low resistance RL. And this voltage, uh, let us assume our input voltage is equal to 70 volts. Okay. And connect similarly, connect one ground also. Ground, take one ground at Place here. Okay. So place this ground here. So next is uh, take one parameter. Parameter enter library pair game parameter, then parameter place this parameters in here. Okay. So because of this load is variable here, yeah, that's why. So we have to assign the values this param uh, by using these parameters. Variable resistance, low resistance. So go to parameters, press, and the name of the parameter is called RL. Okay. Save alter, change the display, both name and value, like this. And the value of the parameter is called, okay. Value of the parameter, for example, low resistance is called uh, 30. For example, low resistance is equal to 30. Then uh, I'm selecting like this. Value of low resistance is equal to 30. Save alter. I change the display, both name and value. And then, okay. Then it will be appear like this. Okay. So the name is called RL. That is called variable load. It's called RL. And value of the variable resistance is called 30. Load resistance is equal to 30. Okay. After this uh, connection, go to analysis. This is very, very important. Go to analysis and set up 
okay go to analysis and set up let's set up and uh, enable this ship enable this ship and press on uh, this ship and it is called variable which you know? that's why we have to introduce one global parameter that's why enable global parameter the parameter name is called rl and the starting value is nothing but the, our graph will start at the zero one so that's why uh, we are giving 0 0.001 0 0.01 i'm giving you 0 0.01 end value is called uh, for example your low resistance is 30 no? so that is end value of resistance uh, uh, take 60 low resistance is equal to source resistance so that uh, resistance is maximum up to 60 we will get the graph up to 60 okay and increment by 0 0.01 then you will get proper output waveform okay like this uh, uh adjust the settings okay and then after this uh this is called simulation press simulation icon and then go to first this is a save save this schematic uh maximum power maximum okay like this uh i went file name so then new window up here after pressing this simulation, a new window appear like this. So in this uh, window, uh, press here, add a trace. Okay, trace. Otherwise, we have press trace, add trace. Okay, in this uh, add trace, uh, power is equal to I square into RL. So that's why. So I is called uh, current flowing to the our resistor. That resistor is nothing but R3. This is the current flowing to the resistor is called R. So that's why uh, go to trace, add trace, IR3. I square into this, uh, select this enter here into, then again IR3. I square into, that is nothing but I into I. I square into I is nothing but I into I. IR3 into IR. And then enter I square into RL, power is called I square into RL. And then press RL. So I square into I R three into I R three into R L. This is called. So in this way we have to give the expression, trace expression power is equal I square into R. L. Then after pressing this uh, OK, and then we will get graph like this. OK. So uh, graph will open. This way. So this is our maximum power transfer theorem graph. Okay. So in this uh, maximum power transfer theorem graph, so where is the maximum value to identify? To identify where is the maximum value of power? So okay. So our uh, ending value of resistance is called 60. I'm choosing like that. That's why the graph is up to 60 only. Okay. So if you want to change this uh, analysis, then uh, you want to increase the graph. So ending value is 60. No? So if you enter 80, then your graph will be uh, up to maximum value is called 80. Okay, go to trace, I add trace, and I R3 into, again, I R3 into RL. Then like this, okay. Then you will get maximum power, maximum or low resistance, maximum resistance up to eight. Then how to identify the maximum power on this graph? So for this, uh, select this, okay? Select this, after this, uh, press this icon. Okay, toggle cursor, toggle cursor, press icon. After this, uh, so we want to find the maximum value of uh, uh, maximum value point. So that's why so select this column. You want to minimum point this. This is called cursor peak. Cursor peak is called our peak value. That is called our maximum power. Okay. By selecting this uh, cursor peak and it will be enabled. Okay. The switch. Then 
this uh, graph is appear like this clearly so so if you want to find uh, this uh, maximum peak value that is called our maximum power at uh, rl is equal low resistance is equal source test am i right so that's why enable this okay select this after this press this toggle cursor and then on this cursor select uh, cursor peak then automatically it will be uh, appear on this uh, screen like this understood so maximum value is color here 24 for this 24 this is called maximum peak value in this curve that is called our maximum power 24 watts is called the maximum power okay and the 18 pant uh, oh, sorry so a 24 is called x axis 24 is called uh, resistance low resistance because you have 20 now so you are for corresponding 24 so we are getting power that is equal to 18 pad 375 understood so 18 pad 375 this probe cursor display like this so if you want to display that value press this icon mark label okay like so it will be open it will be uh, display on like this on the screen mark label understood okay so in this way we have to execute this segment maximum power transfer theorem after this uh, executing this segment press this uh, icon that is called print by pressing the print and then it appear new window new pop up like this and uh, press maximum maximum power graph Save. Okay, so then maximum power graph is uh, saved on desktop. That's why it shows like this. This is our maximum power graph. So here, uh, to low, for this uh, low resistance, value of low resistance is up here on the graph. RL is equal to RS, that is called load resistance, uh, RL is equal to RS condition, at this condition, you will get maximum power at this way. Okay, so in this way, we have to execute this segment, maximum power transfer. Main thing is uh, the parameters. First, we have to set the parameters. After that, analysis. Okay, and value, we have set, uh, value is called RL. Value, by taking braces. By taking braces only, so you have to, enter the value save then okay okay this is about the maximum power transfer here